Good morning. Folks, we're going to hit an interesting eclipse map and mention happenings with the upcoming event next month. We'll look at plasma physics and supernova remnants and hit two excellent stories on geomagnetic excursions and Earth's weather. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Several minor pops can be seen both at the limbs and at the small central plasma filaments. Not much in the way of flaring or eruptions, but we're in a proton storm right now and we've got things to watch in the coming days. First, that proton surge from the western limb eruption has hit storm levels, minor but scientifically relevant. Remember, these surge along the interplanetary magnetic field and enter the polar region through that field connection to Earth, and that polar absorption is causing enhanced readings on the D region. This is the lowest level of the ionosphere, and it is currently impacting the global electric circuit significantly at the polar region. Looking in the days ahead, we see the next coronal hole incoming on the south, that dark patch at the side there. We also have helioseismic data indicating that these signatures incoming on the north are a substantial sunspot group. Eyes open as we enter next week. Let's go to a map showing where all the eclipses have been over the last 4,000 years and 1,000 years into the future. We have a solar eclipse upcoming early next month, and I wanted to take this moment to mention I have no idea why the government officials are telling people to be prepared and are dispatching National Guard under the eclipse path. From a scientific perspective, it's just another eclipse. Highly weird behavior. Up next, they're looking to rewrite the physics of the most famous supernova, 1987A. They once thought that the Raleigh-Taylor instability is what caused the clump knots in the ejection ring, but now they say it's the Crow plasma instability. Very interesting stuff and amazing how the complex math of plasma makes amazing geometry in the heavens. Last but not least, two of the best pre-releases from next month's EGU General Assembly. Both are suggesting that there is a strong climatological impact of geomagnetic changes on Earth, both suggesting that when we drop to low field strength, as we're on the way towards now with the ongoing geomagnetic excursion and pole shift, that it causes extra cosmic rays to enter the Earth, which juice up the clouds and simultaneously cause excess rain and cooler temperatures. Where have we heard that before? We'll go over this in more depth soon. Tomorrow, the latest issue of Observer Review will be released. It's the best way to stay up to date on the most important science that comes out every month. Link to sign up is found below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.